Hello crypto friends, bit of a short video today because it makes my job easy when someone puts out some great content that I want to refer you to. So first things first, we just had a bear break of the daily inside bar, the four hour sideways pattern that we had, a clear bear break. We did break 6,211, dropped to a lower low, 6,200 psychological has held. At this point, we have four key supports left. The first one for me, I'm looking at 6,151. I guess we have four supports left. 6151, 6033, 6000 psychological, and then we're going back to the weekly time frame looking at 5900 and 5777. The bears still have the upper hand, same story as it's been the past couple of days, and that's why I'm not going to go into too much detail nor too many other coins today, but we have a 4 hour lower high, anything under 6285 is just a 4 hour lower high. Haven't even touched 4 hour exponential resistance at this point. And again, two videos highlighted how the weak bounce attempt and looking for a, a bearish entry, it would be a four hour lower high. And that declining bull volume certainly made the bears confident. So at this point, bears still in full control, but we want to watch this video. So definitely got to give a shout out when good content is produced. I like the community aspect of the cryptocurrency space. The stock world with what we do in terms of you know, being uh, an educational service, it's way more competitive than the crypto world. Where here in the crypto world, we have a partnership with Nuggets News. We, you know, have done work with Carter Thomas. And I love that aspect because the stock world, you have people who do what we do, but say, you know, in their chat rooms, you can't talk about any other personalities. And they keep it really bottled up because they want you to say, we're the only source of education you need. Give us your money. This is all you need. And essentially, that's untrue because no one can possibly give you all the information you need. I'm a technical analyst. I do charts. We're the chart guys. So when someone comes out with fundamental information that is significant and worth knowing, I'm going to point you in that direction. I don't care if you go and like and sub them and give them your attention. I'm not that much of an attention needer, but it's Altcoin Daily. So Altcoin Daily puts out this video, institutional investors buying Bitcoin in mass, and he has proof and evidence. And that's the most important thing for me because I have said this in the last couple of weeks, this sideways trading, it seems like accumulation to me. That's my gut. That's noticing what's going on the chart and saying, you know, I anticipate this is what's going on behind the scenes. I had no proof of it whatsoever. So when he comes out and puts this video with proof and with, with wallet addresses, and he can show that there's OTC, large institutions buying hundreds of millions of dollars. We're assuming it's institutions. We don't know who it is. But the bottom line is there is proof that over the last three to four weeks, there has been significant accumulation of Bitcoin. And I'm pointing you to this video because he did a great job of showing it. I could very easily say, you know, look at this and point out the wallet addresses, but that would be very dishonest because this is his content. So Altcoin Daily is the channel. Go subscribe to it and watch this video. And that video is going to give you some great insight and it's going to be information that I'm not going to act on. I'm going to have it in the back of my mind. I'm going to be sitting here for the next month with my finger on the buy trigger, but I'm not buying until the trend changes or until we get clear bullish action. So regardless of this proof that there is accumulation going on behind the scenes, that's not telling me that we can't drop another 5%, another 10% from where we currently stand before we get any kind of bullish action. So just keep in mind that while this is great information to know, and it's great to have proof now, it doesn't change my game plan at all because price action is always king. And if we're going to drop down to 5,000, you know, I don't want to be buying now just because of some fundamental behind the scenes action. So personally, I'm still using the charts, but again, this is information that you want to know. So go watch this video. I'm going to link it in the description of this video or in the comments, I should say on YouTube. And that's about it. That's all I got for you today. This is the lesson for today and give him a shout out. Tell him the chart guys sent you. And I hope you have a good day. Do some good things out there. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, bud. What are you doing?